Who farted? One of these guys farted. God, it smells like piss. Not my piss, but maybe like a strong piss. That's the wind. The spirit of the wind. He just wants a rub like her mama, huh? I know where you get that from. You get it from me. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I got you sitting on like 12 million different things so that y'all are straight on. Instead of looking at me at an angle, I can't do it anymore. When I edit, I'm like, what is this angle going on? Like I need y'all straight on like looking me dead in my eyes. What is up y'all? Welcome back. I went to Trader Joe's this morning. There's no power in the house. Okay. I love living in this area, but when you're backed up to a hill and this area is like known for wildfires, I always turn the power off just to like make sure because it's been so windy. Anyways, so we probably want to power all day, which sucks because I really want to do my music. Oh, oh my God. When I finally do my music, I have to show you guys I have to show you guys like I'm so excited. So once the power goes back on, that is exactly what we're doing. This morning, I slept in late. Like 8.30 is late as f for me because I usually get up at like 6, 7, like somewhere between there. Even like 7.30 is still like within my realm. But like anything after that is a little late for me. My body wakes up naturally, probably because I'm going to sleep so early. I'm telling you, the gummies, oh, they make me pass out. I haven't even really been taking my gummies like that. I've been doing so much in the day that... At night when I go to sleep, out, out like a light, like baby, I'm gone. There's nothing moving in here, not even dreams. The last video was like all grocery hauls, like babes. Before. Anyways, I got their favorite treats. These are Harley's favorite treats, so I have to get them because they all like them now. So I stick them in my little Harley jar. You guys have seen it. This thing that I made it color me mine. Cause those were Harley's, one of Harley's favorite treats. So I stick them in this thing. It's so stinking cute. It really makes me think of her. And then I got them these freeze dried things, which they tried in the car. These are like new turkey recipe. It's like dog and cat food topper, but also it could be treats. And they really liked them. Even pepper and pepper's picky. So, and then I got some dish soap. They only sell two types of dish soap. So I got the other one that I didn't get last time. Italian olive oil. I really like this and I used it the fuck up. So I got another one. Two potatoes because I really want to make french fries. I stopped at Phil's and got a coffee because I was craving Phil's. Like I haven't had Phil's. It shows me my order history since June. I haven't had Phil's since June. Like babes. That's a while, right? June, July, August, September, October, November. Six months? That's not six months. June, July, August, September, October, November. I guess, yeah, because we're almost in December and that's like half the year. Wow. Okay, six months. That would be yeah. I love Phil's, but the one thing about them, they take so goddamn long. I ordered it. I literally waited 20 minutes to, to pull up at the store and go and it still wasn't ready. They hadn't even made it. I see my sticker sitting there. He hadn't even made it yet. I was like, <laughs> we got it. And it's good, baby, it's good. Mm. It's still as good as it was six months ago. Brown rice, rosemary, because you wanna know what we're doing today? Making rosemary water for my hair. And I forgot to get this in the last vlog. I was so wanting to do this in the last vlog and I didn't. So rosemary for the hair. It smells so good. Cause I got this thing, ordered this off Amazon. So, I'm gonna be like, like this much. Butternut squash mac and cheese. Okay, so Thanksgiving is in four days. Now, I just got back from the Bay Area. I could change my mind in the next couple days, but it just doesn't look like I'm gonna be driving all the way back to be with my family. My grandma just got out of the hospital, so my mom's been helping her. I have no friends that live here. Like, all my friends are literally spread out, so I'd have nobody to spend Thanksgiving with. It's gonna be me, my dogs, and I. I got a butternut squash mac and cheese because, look, this is gonna be my first year spending Thanksgiving alone. I mean, I could change my mind in the next couple days if I wanna like go back down to the bay. But the drive, y'all, it just it takes me out. It's 400 miles, far as fuck, like far as fuck. Doing that again, I just don't, I just can't see myself doing it in the next couple days. I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna cook. I just wanna eat and enjoy my fucking day by myself with my dogs. So I got this for my mac and cheese because this mac and cheese is so good. If you have not tried this butternut squash mac and cheese, what are you doing? This is insane. Cottage cheese, we're gonna make a breakfast right now. If you guys follow Jacqueline Hill, she posted one of her like breakfasts that she has every day. Actually, let me get the water boiling. Oh, wait, you know what? My gas probably doesn't work, huh? I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think that my gas doesn't work. <laughs> Why didn't I buy food? 
What the hell am I supposed to eat? Oh, it stinks in there. They need to turn that shit back on. Why am I stupid? I like didn't even think of that. No brain cells up here. <laughs> There's none. The lights are on, but nobody is home. Anyways, Jackson Hill made this breakfast. It's like cottage cheese, avocado, eggs, chili, onions. It's like this whole thing. And I saved it because I was like, I like all of those things. So mixed together, like I feel like I would like this. So cottage cheese romaine hearts empanadas these looked good shredded beef turnovers and cassava crust i love anything cassava cassava is that girl you know what my favorite pasta is well i like the cauliflower pasta but cassava pasta if you haven't tried it baby try it you're trying to look for like a lower carb or just like no wheat like glue like a gluten-free type of thing my favorite pasta ever all right some burgers because i've been craping a burger and i have in and out spread in there and i was like i don't need to go to in and out i can literally make burgers and fries by myself i seen uh what you know the girl that does the she like cooks for her i can't remember if she has three or four kids and she's like literally younger than me she like is popping on instagram i don't know her name i think it's like christina i don't know but she like cooks for her kids and it's just literal videos of her like cooking for her kids. I love her. Like every time she comes up on my page, I always watch. I always like show love. I'm like, I love this girl. And she made French fries. Like she cut up potatoes and made the French fries. And I was like, period. Like that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Like I need to be on that. It just inspired me. Like that's why the internet can low key be positive at some times. Like the internet has a lot of negative stuff to it. Don't get me wrong, but the internet can actually really positively inspire you. I want to be like a positive influence on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that I follow is a positive influence for me in some way or another. Like fashion, food, all of music. They influence me and inspire me in some way or another. So if you're following people that is not inspiring you and is pissing you off, making you sick, you need to unfollow them. Uh, every time I see her videos, it like gives me ideas. Because she be throwing down. Like, she is, those kids are lucky, honestly. One of y'all recommended, if you're watching this, thank you so much, girly. I literally bought these things for Sadie. This is a big tub. I was like, why is this $70? When it came, I was like, this is why it was $70. This is called, is it called Ficox? Ficox? I don't know. But I gave one of these to Sadie yesterday. She already is like looking so much better like genuinely everything i do i feel like helps her legs a little bit more sorry you guys are like probably tired of me talking about it but i like to update you guys because i know there's other pet parents out there that are like you know going through the same stuff or like gonna go through the same situations and apparently the luxating patella is like so it's so common like literally when i put it on instagram thousands of people were messaging me being like my dog had this like we had to get the surgery like all this stuff so yeah i like to share you know obviously my babies are my children so you know i like to share but yeah so shout out to you girl i ordered this <laughs> um because you recommended it and she loves them she loves the taste and it'll last me a really long time because she only needs to have a half a day I think. all right love y'all and i'll see you soon Mwah. yeah I forgot to even update you and tell you what's going on because we still have no power and I ran into my neighbor and they said that it'll probably be off for two days. <laughs> two days straight, my groceries, rest in peace. Why the fuck did I go this morning? It's because usually it's, they've never done that before. Like usually it's only off for a couple hours and they said it's been off since 4 a.m. So I just figured like they would turn it back on. Why did I go get groceries this morning? Sickening, sickening. I have nothing to eat. Unless I wanted to eat nuts all day. It's like the only thing I have that's not, that you don't have to make up. And yogurt. I have yogurt, but I'm like, don't want to open the fridge. So I got Air One because I was going to get Pita Grill. It's closed. It's cl like a lot of stuff around me doesn't have power either because we all are running off the same power and they turned it off. So this is my Air One plate. I wanted to show you guys. That's so good. Oyster mushrooms. I need to learn how to make these. My favorite turmeric broccoli. Oh, oh my god! Wow, I love Air One. Like genuinely, it's so overpriced. Don't get me wrong. I totally agree with that. But their food, like if you get the right shit, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. And then this like tandoori chicken, which is a little dry. 
it's a little dry, but the flavor's there. So it's got like cilantro. Mmm. I love cilantro. I love cilantro. Like I could eat cilantro like just from this. Oh my god, it's so good. I feel so sad for everybody that it tastes like soap. I got a cream soda olipop. They'd be taxing for these. They'd be taxing for these. Yeah. And then um but they're, they're literally, you can never find the cream soda ones anywhere. Like, at least I can't. They're literally always sold out everywhere. So I had to pay an extra whatever for, it doesn't matter. And then I got this pumpkin pie. Because I'm sorry, I'm not waiting till Thanksgiving. Like, I'm going to eat this right now. <laughs> right now. Oh, you know what? I want to reread the Mastery of Love or the, or the Four Agreements. Yeah, I want to reread the Four Agreements. So I might start that. Um... Because someone was talking to me about it the other day. And I was like, I haven't read that book since 2018. And <clears throat> they were saying about how every time they feel like they lose, like, sense of life. Or, like, don't really know, like, where to turn to. Or, you know, like, just feeling lost in a way. They say they always come back to that book. And I'm like, I haven't read that book since 2018. But I remember that I loved it. I have a bunch of his other books, too. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to reread that. So, yeah. I'm just going to redo my shadow work. Took her for a long ass walk. We went so long. I actually want to see how far we went. Yesterday we went two and a half miles. We did 8,000 steps. Let's see how many. Oh, three miles. All right, y'all. We got power. Turn the lights on. I was like so ready to make my Jaclyn Hill breakfast. So I have a pot with water. I'm just gonna leave that here because I'm gonna make it tomorrow. Best best believe that I'm making that shit tomorrow. But tonight, rosemary water. We're making rosemary water for the hair. Why? Because I, I want to. I haven't used this thing yet. So I think this will work, right? No, you can't use this on the stove. This is for the oven. I have no brain cells. Look guys, my rash is back. It's It's even on my arm now. And on my, all you guys were telling me to check my thyroid. I actually need to. I need to go to the doctors. Thyroid problems actually run in my family. So all the people in the comments that was like, you should get your thyroid checked for my rash. Yeah, I think that that's something that I need to do. Like y'all could be right. Like y'all could really be right. Um, a lot of people were like, oh my God, it's the, your skincare that you're using. Y'all have been using Typology for like four, four months now three, four months now, I've never broken out using it. Like sometimes it'll come and then it, I won't see it again for like six months and then it'll come again. Like it's really random. Um, I also think it could be from wheat because every time I had wheat today, every time I have wheat, it does flare up. So it could be like a gluten allergy. Um, but again, like it could also be my thyroid. It really just, I don't know what it is. I had that pie today and then literally like an hour later, it was back. <laughs> like the rash was back. So I think it could be that or it, it could be my thyroid or it could be, a lot of you guys were saying it could be stress induced. I I feel like I've noticed it when I get stressed as well. So it's like one of those things is just like, I really don't know what it is. So anyways, let's make this rosemary water for my hair <laughs> because I had to just cut off a lot of my hair nobody noticed which is good like nobody was like you cut your hair thank god because i cut like five inches off i used one of the products that i got in pr and it says it's a heat protecting okay so i put it on then i straightened my hair <laughs> literally fried my hair off like i don't know what the hell ha i still have some pieces that are literally fried but i cut most of it off because it was straw like i literally literal straw like it was, hey, bitch, moo. I should have known. I've had this for a year, like literally a year, never used it. So today is the day. Should I use all of it? Cause how long does it last? Okay, I'll use about that much. Was I supposed to wash it? Like there's shit coming off of these things. Hold on, it's fine. Like, is that a bug though? Cause if it's a bug, like there's absolutely no way. Okay, I'm just dumping it all in there. Oh shit, there's a bug in there. Oh, oh my God, it's gonna die. Oh my God, get out, hurry up. Oh my God, just burn alive. Oh my God, no. And why am I trying to get it out with my fucking hand? Oh my God. Yeah, this is why you wash your shit before. It's dead. It's so dead. Come on, buddy. Oh my God. Oh 
I'm so fucking sorry. Okay, wash your rosemary before I'm fucking starting this over. I can't even believe that that bug has been in my freaking fridge for how many hours? God, it was just chilling in there. Like, what? Ew. All right, now I'll be back. That was a whole fiasco. <laughs> I can never just do shit. Like, there's always gotta be like 12 other things happening. Here's the rosemary. It's going. Ooh. All right, we'll check up on her in like 20 minutes. This is what it looks like after. I think it looks absolutely f***ing rancid. <laughs> it looks gross. I'm restarting my growth journey because I keep fucking it. I keep fucking my hair up. Like, I don't know what. I just, my happiest was when my hair was literally like down to here. So now that I had to cut it, we have a long way to go. <laughs> it was like down to here, then I fucking cut it. Ugh. Stupid ass hair straightener. Like, I don't even know what happened. Like, I've never had that happen to where my hair like really fried off. Anyways, it's okay. This rosemary water is here to save the day. So we have to let it cool. Then I'm going to strain it. And then obviously once it's cool, we'll put it in here. Pretty much spilled half of it, but there we go. I need to get a funnel. Please don't talk about me. God, it smells like piss, Loki. Not my piss, but maybe like a strong piss. Okay, here it is. Let me find, I hope I have the cap for this. Here we go, this is what you do. Little Ziploc, a little one-two. And I'm putting this in the fridge. It said your extras you put in the fridge, but your whole batch will only last a week. So I have to need to go through this in a week. So this is gonna go in the fridge. It looks questionable, but okay, it's for the hair growth. It's for the hair growth. In the shower, I am about to... Y'all hear? That's the wind. The spirit of the wind, okay? Oh. I didn't know so much was gonna come out right there. Anyways, okay. Make sure I put it right on my bald spot. I'm just gonna make sure we get that bald spot. All right, most of my hair is saturated now. Now I'm just going to massage it in there. Make sure it's in the scalp. You wanna make sure that the rosemary water is like all like concentrated on your scalp. This is what I read. Okay, this is what I read. I hit it with some like oil on the bottom so that it doesn't smell. A mix of these two oils, my K18, because I love this, and then this Sol de Janeiro because this makes your hair smell so good. Oh my God, I used it the other day and I was like, I can't believe I like ever stopped using this. It just sits in my cabinet. I have not used it in so long. And I used it the other day and I took my hair down like from its pony that it was in. And I was like, oh, I'm going back to using this because this makes your hair smell phenomenal. And if you're like one of those people like me, I have like a fear of my head smelling because I sweat a lot. So just like one of those like stupid irrational fears. It smells so good. This is the Sol de Janeiro Nourishing Hair Oil. So I'm gonna put a little K18 because I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning. So I'm just gonna put some hair oils at the bottom, not at the scalp. I usually don't oil my scalp anymore unless it's like gonna be a couple hours before my hair wash because it's just like one of those things that it can make your scalp kind of congested so i usually just either oil the bottoms or oil my scalp if my scalp if i feel like my scalp like needs oiling which is honestly not very often because for the most part i have pretty a pretty oily scalp so it smells so fucking good like, I need to be using this every single day. <laughs> like, every single day. It just smells so good. It has such, like, a potent smell, but it's not too overpowering. It's, like, perfect for your hair. This is iconic. Iconic. Like, these used to be in my old de-appointment routine videos. Chef's like, a holy grail product. <laughs> so good. Why did it 
gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two times, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off a fence, star. Just the one on hoodie, it's a print shop. Way that I've been living unconventional. I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know. Certain things are starting now. Moving on to the shadow work. This girl does not want me to get anything done. Okay. Look at her. And I'm watching my twins. I love them. But look at her. She's like, mommy, where's my rub? She is a fucking needy ass. She just wants a rub like her mama. Huh. I know where you get that from. You get it from me. <laughs> I literally always want a rub. <laughs> always. Like, there will never not be one time in my life where I would be like, damn, a massage does not sound good right now. Did my oil pulling. And I did my water flosser. And I, then I brushed my teeth. My mouth is feeling so clean right now. And I brushed my tongue. We're working on the shadow work right now. Okay, and I wanted to share this prompt because I was like, oh, this is a good one. So I want to share it with y'all. If the first journal prompt of my, I'm starting the journal prompt series. Cause I was gonna do mirror, the mirror gazing. It's like, they have like exercise journal prompts. Like they have so much stuff, meditation, so much stuff in this book. I think it's linked to my Amazon storefront or you can look up shadow work journal. I got it on Amazon. In my journal prompts section of the shadow work journal. First prompt is what parts of your parents or guardians do you notice reflect in yourself? What traits, both good and bad, are you inheriting from them? How can you break the negative behavioral chains that run through your family? I have so much to say about this, and I feel like a lot of people do because it's so rare that like people don't have some sort of childhood trauma. It's just really rare. You know what I mean? Like you would have had to grow up in like the most perfect family for you to not have things that triggered you as a child that you've brought into your adult life. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's parents are perfect. Nobody's family is perfect. You know what I mean? It's all going to be situational for you. So I just thought that was so interesting and something that, you know, if you guys want to start doing shadow work too, it's such a great prompt to like start with. I do this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love ya. Good morning. Okay, this morning we're making Jaclyn Hill's breakfast, like I told you guys that I wanted to make. So we need some cottage cheese, hard boiled eggs, which I have in here. They're cooling down in my ice water. An avocado, or a half avocado. Or that's not my half, I'm sorry. I always use the one without the pit first. And then some chili oil. I had to put mine in the microwave because I had it in the fridge. I thought you were supposed to store it in the fridge. I guess <laughs> you don't need to store it in the fridge. So it was all super hard. Okay, we're starting with some cottage cheese. That should be about enough. Then she puts half avocado in the cottage cheese. I like all these things separately, so like, I don't know why I wouldn't like all of them together, but like, it seems gross to me. <laughs> but we're gonna try it out. Okay, it looked good when she made it though. Okay, so then you just mash the avocado into the cottage cheese. So it looks like green cottage cheese. But my hard boiled eggs. My other egg got fudged up, so we only have one egg now. <laughs> we take this little chili oil and sprinkle that on. Egg the chili oil. And then she said a little bit of honey. So I'm gonna do a little bit of honey. I have this like Mexican honey with the honeycomb. It's so freaking good. So I'm just gonna put that all over. All right, I got the door open this morning because it's trash day and I'm gonna get down to the bottom of who's putting their shit in my garbage can because every week somebody puts their shit in my 
my garbage can and usually I don't care like if it's boxes or like your trash like bagged up okay but the last couple weeks they've been throwing like shit from a vacuum you know like the shit from the vacuum like that you vacuum it makes my garbage can so dirty and like they throw sticky shit in there and I'm like I will literally find you and like you're probably like why do you care it's the garbage can because then my garbage sticks and it gets all gross and then I have to clean it out like are you kidding me no put your shit in your own garbage if you want to throw your vacuum shit or sticky shit or whatever in my garbage bag it up first like back it up for, like it's just rude like you know what i mean i don't know am i tripping here is the breakfast i'm kind of nervous to try this it just seems like it's nasty ready wait okay i'm not gonna lie she might have did something right here mm. i wouldn't put all these things together myself but now that i i did it's good you know what i'm saying this breakfast is actually approved i did not think it would be look at my music today Thank God. I started working on a song on Saturday. Ever since Saturday, I've been like itching to do it, but I was working on Sunday and then the power went out <laughs> yesterday. So just like itching to, to finish the song. So yeah, this needs another egg. This beat, oh, it's eating. I wanted to play it for y'all, but I accidentally threw away the cord to my speaker. Um, okay. Anyway. L's, baby, L's. I just got back from Cycle. Good morning. How's everyone doing? How's everyone? Living today, yeah, she's beating the shit out of her toy. If you hear that, and my air fryer is on in the background because I'm heating up my eggs. Not eggs, my bite, the egg bite things. It's better in the air fryer. Like, I was putting them in the microwave, but the bacon gets, like, crispy if you put it in the air fryer, which I love. Like, I love a crisp. So, anyways, doing that. I low-key wanted to do the Jacqueline Hill breakfast, but I'm, like, so if I had hard-boiled eggs already ready to go, like, that would've been cute, but no. Honestly, those egg bites, like, getting the egg bites from Costco was honestly chef's kiss. But I went to Cycle this morning, okay, got my ass up. I didn't even sign up. Like, I literally just showed up, okay? Because my favorite girl was teaching. She literally just got an instructor job two months ago. They made her an instructor. I love her. She's so cute. She's like such a mom. She's such a vibe. I get there and all of the clothes that they sell at Cycle are like out of the store. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then this lady walks in and is like, oh my God, I just heard like, I'm so sad. And I'm like, no, what happened? They are shutting down Cycle. They're shutting down my Cycle. Bye. But I had to pause my account anyways, because I have my foot injury yeah not getting any better babes not getting any better it gets better when i like massage it and use the massage gun and everything on it but i know that when i cycle it does get inflamed um so i've been having to like not do i can't do everything in the class anyways in cycle so i have to like sit on the bike for a lot of the time so i was gonna pause my cycle account anyways but i'm literally so sad it's shutting down it's because they have one right down the street and i guess that one does a lot better than my one like literally my cycle bar there's probably like anywhere from two to five people in the class like at a time you know and i think people are like canceling their membership because so, the stuff's getting so expensive like inflation hello like there's a lot of factors you know what i mean so they just like can't keep the business going so they're shutting it down i'm so sad because i've made like so many good friendships it's okay this gives me an opportunity to like step out and you know try something else do something else i was actually talking about my friend we we're actually talking about it yesterday going back to pilates so sad i literally love everybody from cycle I love the instructors so much. I love the girls that work at the front desk. Like, Loki was sad. Okay, this will give us an opportunity to try something new, which is good. Because i kind of just been sticking to like what I know. Like, cycle. We've been doing walks outside. So, I'm going to do some research. And hopefully try to find something else for us to do. Like, I don't even know. Like, maybe hit workout. I don't know. Let me know what's y'all's, like, favorite workouts. 
always switching things up is generally what keeps my exercise fun and like she said something today that resonated with me so hard like i'm so sad she said moving your body is a privilege not a punishment and i said preach bitch like literally preach because it's so true like a lot of times we think as of exercise as a punishment like we need to do it to like look a certain way and da -da -da -da, you know but it's really not it is a privilege to move your body and i just was like preach bitch like that is the tea okay all right, you guys, it's hours later, but I need everyone to look at my masterpiece. <laughs> I brought my, I haven't taken my berberine today or my alpha lipoic. have to take my alpha lipoic because my parosmia is coming back and it's coming back worse, okay? This is the definition of there's in and out at home, okay? I have the in and out spread, so that helps. I also got a little root beer. I made these fries. I think they look absolutely phenomenal. And you know what? They taste even better. They are delicious, okay? I've been doing my music for the past however many hours. And she was starting to sound so good. And then I got tired. I was like, well, I can't do this anymore. I'm getting exhausted because I hadn't eaten. So, in and out at home, cheers, okay? These fries, like, why did I not know that you can make easy fries at home? Because you know what, In-N-Out fries, they're a little crusty. Hello, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving this morning. So clearly I decided to not go to the Bay Area. I was like going back and forth with it so hard, like literally so hard. And my intuition, like I was trying, cause I literally couldn't figure out. I was like, do I go, do I not go? And I just kept, feeling like my intuition was kind of like just stay and usually when that happens to me like I should have listened like I always do the opposite and then I'm like damn you know what I mean so I just really want to get better at listening to myself like asking myself like what do you want to do because I was so like split 50 50 and I just kept feeling like everything kept pointing to like me staying home Everyone's probably like, it's not that deep. But I'm trying to get better at listening to myself. Like, I feel like I always know in my brain, like, what's the right answer for me, you know, for whatever reason. Obviously, I don't know the reason, but I felt like me wanted to stay here. So, anyways, good morning. We got some donkey. We got some donkey. Now we have to go to the, well, let me show you guys what I got. I got all stuff I've never tried, except the hash browns. So, we're getting experimental today because I'm like, it's fucking Thanksgiving. Like, I'm going crazy. I'm sorry. But it's a oat brown sugar latte. I don't know. It's like Dunkin's brown sugar latte. I've never had it. It's like an oat milk one. It's like essentially the same as Starbucks, but like not because they do the cold foam. You know what I mean? Or wait, the brown sugar shaking espresso does not have cold foam on it. I'm tripping. Anyways, let's taste test this. Oh, you know what? Why does it literally taste the same? Hmm. What I like about Dunkin', their coffee always seems smoother than Starbucks. Who farted? One of these guys farted. You better hot box me? I'm Thanksgiving. I stopped at the store to get some stuff too, because last night I stopped at Air One. We're having a vegan Thanksgiving, by the way. Well, is everything vegan? No, there's cheese in the American cheese, but I'm not having meat. Um, which is crazy. I had a vegan Thanksgiving in 2021 when I lived in Florida because my mom came to Florida and we did like vegan Thanksgiving for her. So yeah, it'll definitely be interesting, but I don't even like really eat that much turkey every year anyways. And so I was like, I'm not making it. I'm not even going to go buy one because you know, you can buy like the ones from Costco that are like already done up, like the little ones. Or is that chicken? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Whatever, I just was like, I don't really need that. Like, so there will not be any meat on my plate this year. I got stuffing, broccoli, my oyster mushrooms. I have butternut squash mac and cheese. I really wanna get some Hawaiian rolls. And then I wanted to get a dessert and I love the Erwan pumpkin pie. That shit was hitting too good. 
last night I went in there. First of all, my girls were in there. I love the bitches that work at Air One. Like, I literally am in love with them. Like, I'm so obsessed with them. And I hadn't seen them in, like, I haven't been to Air One in, like, literal months. Catching up on all the tea. And I was just like, I missed you guys. And they were saying that they're actually open until 4 today. So, I guess, yeah, so many grocery stores do stay open on Thanksgiving. They just close early. But I was gonna go and get, like, a pumpkin pie or something. But I was like, you know what? I haven't had in a long time. A donut. I got myself a little maple donut. And, like, obviously we know Dunkin' Donuts, like, their donuts, they're not that good. You know what I mean? Like, they don't hit. But they'll hit if you put it in the microwave for, like, 15 seconds. This will hit later tonight after I'm fucking off a of gummy. Oh, you know what? That's what I should have done. I should have went and got me a little. So I just want to go. I kind of wanted to get, like, some Baileys and make up some, like, espresso drinks tonight i don't know we'll see we'll see what the vibes bring i still want to go on my morning walk it's only eight in the morning um but i got hash browns and then i got this sausage i don't know if i've ever had one of their breakfast sandwiches but this is a honestly it looks like shit it's a croissant breakfast sandwich oh no Oh, that's giving. So good. I had to get my Hawaiian rolls. These are my absolute favorite. I think next year I want to do a Thanksgiving with strictly Hawaiian food. It's like my number one favorite food in the entire world. So I, I want to do it so bad. Anyways, got some chicken because I thought I'm eating good. These guys should be eating good too. So I'm going to make them some chicken. And I have pumpkin and like all that stuff for them. Sweet potato and all that good stuff. So yeah, they're going to get chicken. I also have like carrots and stuff. So they're going to be eating good today too, of course. They're my babies. Then I got Bailey's because tonight we're making, I want to do like a hot chocolate cream. I don't know, something. We're going to make something up. I'm going to look up some recipes with this and just like use what we have but i've been wanting to get i don't think i've ever ha have I had baileys i don't know you guys i just made the baby's crock pot meal here it is it's chicken broth carrot sweet potato broccoli and chicken yay i think it's gonna turn out so stinky good i'm very excited and i think that they will love it so i have it on high it's gonna go for about maybe anywhere from like two to four hours i just have to keep checking on it and like really seeing but i love my little crock pot i actually have two but this is my big one and this was free literally somebody in my apartment building was like giving it away <laughs> when like right before i moved out and so i I took it because I was like, oh, period. Like, if you're going to get rid of a crock pot, I need a crock pot and I'm moving out. So, yeah, I love <laughs> I love this thing. I'm going to have this thing literally forever. When I start making their meals again, um, I want to put this thing to use. But you guys know I was making Harley and Sadie their meals in this and they loved it. And I kind of want to get back to doing that. Um, I stopped because... Yeah, Harley passed away, and then I was kind of just like, okay, like, I don't have the energy to, like, make, you know, I was so sad I didn't have the energy to make it anymore. Then I was getting Sadie, like, just food for dogs. She still eats that mixed with, like, some other, like, special canned food for, like, anti-inflammatory. Pepper eats the old lady food. And Biggie will eat anything, okay? But she eats on the same like type of diet as Sadie. But I really want to start like making them food. And I follow like all these like vet people that make their own homemade food. And I'm just like, that looks so good. Like they add a lot of, you know, nutrients and stuff in it. And obviously you have to give the dog like vitamins and stuff. Like you have to make sure that it has all the nutrients that they need in it. So yeah, I really want to like do some more research, get everything on the list so I can make them homemade stuff. Hopefully I can do that within like the next couple weeks, so. Well, today's Thanksgiving, of course my babies are gonna eat good. I do it every year, like, um, so they can feel like, you know, it's a celebration too, something special. Obviously they don't know, you know? 
obviously they don't know that today we're celebrating life anyways i'm gonna go do my hair and my makeup i didn't do my hair mask because i really needed to wash my hair and you need to do it on dry hair i've been doing it on wet hair this whole time no babes you need to do that shit on dry hair because it's just much more effective doing the color depositing mask on dry hair so we'll probably do that tomorrow but i put the rosemary okay one thing about the rosemary i will say makes your hair feel one hella thick like i'm talking hella mega thick okay it makes your hair feel super soft so i washed my hair and then did a rinse and just kept the rosemary water in because there's like multiple ways that you can do the rosemary water you can do it as like a shampoo rinse like after you shampoo and condition your hair you can do it as a rinse so that's how i did it this time but since it's only gonna last a week i need to use that rosemary water up you know what i'm saying anyways i'll see you guys when i'm looking fine as fuck okay no i'm by myself like i still want to put on a cute outfit i still want to slay the day away you know what i'm saying like i still want to look good oh that water's hitting i just went on my walk my hot girl walk see i don't know if i ever showed you guys that i changed this around i put it on instagram but yeah, I moved one of the chairs from the dining table because three just fits that dining table so much better because I bought the chairs before I bought the table and the chairs are a little bit bigger than I expected. So anyway, I put the chair here and I like it because I can sit and put my shoes on. So anyways, here's the entryway. La -da -da, da -da -da. That's where I'm putting my mail right now, as you can tell. Don't mind that. I'm trying to fix the dishwasher. Okay, you guys know how my dishwasher has been broken. It's not even broken. It's just that... The soap dispenser, like it doesn't dispense the soap. It literally just sits in there and then slides down. So I don't know what is going on. So I'm trying to fix it, but I think that they need to replace the entire dishwasher because like I have literally tried everything and I don't know if the door is like getting stuck. I don't know, but here's the makeup and the hair. Okay. I was feeling like Thanksgiving was giving curly vibes. I want to make a with the baileys i think that i want to do like a hot cocoa baileys i don't know we'll see um i have my hot cocoa stand you guys know the little caramel stick my give so i want to make like a little hot chocolate and then throw some of this the baileys probably have to drink this whole thing to even feel like kind of buzz so it's just for the vibes like i'm a vodka drinker like that's my drink of choice you know everyone's like whatever but i don't really like anything else if i'm drinking to get drunk okay like it's gonna be vodka oh yeah this smells like it's about to be good it's not super hot but cheers to my creation Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just did something. I just did something. Oh my god. And I am not a warm beverage kind of girl, but on a day like today where it's like holiday vibes. Oh hot chocolate at the Baileys. Oh. This is my place. She was so gorgina. The butternut squash with the oyster mushrooms, broccoli, vegan stuffing, and two buns. You guys look at how excited they are. They smell their food. <laughs> All right, this is their feast. This is your feast. Are you excited? Okay, ready? Look how they spin. Look how they spin. Sit. Good girl. Bear, sit. Good girl. Come on, Pepper. Sit. Sit, Pepper. Pepper, sit. He gets it eventually. Pepper, sit. Pepper, sit. Pepper, come on. Come on, sit, Pepper. Oh, good girl. Three happy girls. Happy Thanksgiving! I love you guys! Alright, y'all. Oh. Oh. That's not sounding good. <laughs> We're at the car wash right now. I got up early. It's literally 9 o'clock. I got up early so we could do a little car wash. So these guys could get some stimulation. Although, I had to vacuum the seats. Yeah, they did not like that. The car desperately needed a wash so bad. Huh. So, they also give you these like little wipes. So, I'm gonna wipe the dash off. Alright, y'all, we just got out of the wash. 
It was good. It felt so short though. I hate that. Like sometimes it feels really long and sometimes it feels really short. I'm like, did it get, did it get my car all the way? I always have to go. I mean, I'm sure everybody has to do this, but I always have to go after the car wash and like wipe it with a rag in the back like where the back is because it like holds dirt you know what i'm saying so i need to do that when i get home i wasn't really hungry so i haven't eaten yet i literally just brought my water i was so thirsty i ate so much shit yesterday at night i literally had like 500 snacks because sometimes those gummies, okay? They just give you the munchies sometimes. That was fun. At least the car is clean now. I like to clean my car like at least like once a month and I haven't cleaned it in so long. It surprisingly was not that dirty though. So that's good. But yeah, it's been a while since I cleaned it. And we went for the road trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to have to clean it like five times before it gets all those bugs. Because every time I go to the bay oh my god the bug situation because you're going so fast you're flying on the freeway you know what i'm saying all the bugs like my whole front bumper and like grill was just bugs at least the majority of it is clean i really want to get it like before i move again i want to get it wrapped i think you have to hand wash i don't think you can go in those things when your car is wrapped huh pretty sure you have to only get your car hand wash or you can only hand wash your car if it's wrecked i don't know do you guys know i believe that that's what it is right i don't know let me know but i really want to wrap this car matte black so bad yeah and i want new rims i was gonna get new rims when i got new tires but they didn't have four of the rims that i wanted like the all black ones so yeah anyways <laughs> i love y'all and i'll see you when we get home got a the wrap up oh. I got a Thrive Market package. Actually, I got it yesterday, but I was like, let's just open it today. Like, I wasn't pressed to open it because there's nothing, like, refrigerated or anything in here. But I did get my snacks, so let's see what I got. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, my gummies. Because the only place I can find these is Air One. And you know that these hoes are expensive. Air One, they stopped selling or they were sold out of the, the other ones I really like. But these are the Soli gummies. These are mango and orange. Oh, I wanted to try this so bad. I love lemon poppy seed muffins. So these are like a lower carb, sugar-free muffin. We'll see how it is. I've never tried these but i cannot wait to make these some more of my favorite cassava pasta these are chef's kiss so good love my cassava pasta literally favorite pasta some siete queso potato chips favorite popcorn this is my favorite popcorn ever 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 the lesser evil himalayan pink salt that's everything that i got i got some good snacks like i said we'll have to make this up I just love a lemon poppy seed. Sometimes I just get a random urge that like I need to go through every drawer in this house and get rid of shit. Like every time I go in the basement, I get so like, oh my God, we need to get rid of this shit because there's so much like crap in there. After Christmas, I think I am going to do like a whole deep clean because there's Christmas stuff that I have that I don't want anymore that's literally sitting downstairs in the basement and like i just need to get rid of everything that i don't want like i did so much of that when we moved in and now that i've like bought more stuff and collected more stuff it's like your old stuff gets pushed to the back you know what i'm saying or stuff that i just don't use anymore and so it's like i need to keep continually like getting rid of stuff like every month i need to take a trip to the thrift store and just buy here take this because like the more you buy the more it gets cluttered in here you know what i'm saying i hate that i hate clutter like that's one thing it's like when i move and get an actual house like no clutter is coming in babes like if it doesn't serve a purpose like it's not stepping foot into my house so i already know that moving out of this place is gonna be hell you know it's gonna be the worst move ever i really need to hire movers 
when that time comes. I'm not moving anytime soon because I literally just signed a new lease. Well, not really. It was in August. So my lease is up in August. And that's really not like that far away. So I need to decide what I want to do. I think I want to, I don't know, I kind of want to build a house and not here, not here. Oh God, not here. <laughs> it's so expensive, but um, I think I want to build a home and then just continue month to month here. As of right now, that's kind of my plan, but my plans always change. That's the problem with me. It's like, if I say, if I say I'm gonna do something, like the next week it changes, like literally. So it kind of just depends on life, you know? This is my workout outfit. Literally these like see-through leggings from Target and this pink sports bra that's probably from when I was in like eighth grade. <laughs> I literally still have it. And it still fits, so hey, I'm taking that as a win. I think I'll do like half a scoop of this with like half of a pre-workout drink. You guys are gonna be like, what the actual, like you're gonna be tweaking. No, cause it's really not gonna be that much caffeine if you think about it. I don't know which one I want. Which one would go good with that? I think a Kim K would go so good with the kiwi strawberry because this is like strawberry lemonade. And so that's definitely the best bet. So I'm gonna put this in first. Hopefully this doesn't give me a heart attack. I don't recommend other people do this like. But I'm not gonna use a full scoop of this and I'm only using not even half of this. So it won't actually be that much caffeine. Do you get what I'm saying? I never, I actually can never drink a full Alani. It's crazy. How much caffeine is in here? 200 milligrams, yeah. Like, I actually don't even drink 200 milligrams a day. Like, not even when I drink coffee, I don't even drink 200 milligrams. I wish you guys could see it so it could be like aesthetic, but it's in this little Alani shaker. Now I'm going to, oh, here comes the ice straw. A little, a little shake in here too. You know what it tastes like? Mixed together. It tastes like Mountain Dew. It's so interesting that it did that. Yeah, it tastes like so much like Mountain Dew. <laughs> like if someone handed me this and said, this is Mountain Dew, I'd be like, yeah. Girl, you okay? I'm gonna put these dishes away and charge my camera and then we'll go. So last time I saw you was like, literally two hours ago when I took my pre-workout. I didn't even finish it. That shit got me so hyped up that I was like, I need to clean everything in this house. And I did. Oh, I did. I, I did the basement. I, clean, I cleaned the patios. I cleaned, well, I started cleaning her dog bed. I need to finish the rest of the laundry. I vacuumed every inch of the home. Cleaned everything. Like when I tell you that I was on a mission, Oh, the Oxy Shred with the Alani? That is some crap behavior. Couldn't stop cleaning and it was playing the same song for two hours straight. And the song is only like a minute long. I've been waiting for this song to come out. You guys know I love Lil Tyler. Damn, I gotta change my way. Nine, six, down my neck. Remember my chains was- I'm about to go to the bathroom and we got a package. It's from Road. I thought that they did not send this to me because Last time they said they were gonna send me a package, I never got it. So I was like, oh, that probably just is the same thing that happened this time. Cause they messaged me and told me that they were gonna send it like two weeks ago. So I was just like, oh, maybe they just decided to not. But they sent it to me, it's her birthday. Um, Cause her birthday was yesterday or the day before. And it's her little birthday one. I just thought this was so cute. I seen other people like opening theirs and I was like, this is adorable. Like I love this packaging. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is like a little makeup bag. You can like stick shit in. That is too cute for like travel. <gasps> is this the glazing peptide? I've been wanting to try this. You guys know the road is like my favorite. Let me try it, let me try it. Let me see what it's giving. Cause I think this one is tinted. 
yeah lip tint salted caramel lip peptide tried and true i would literally never use anything else on my lips if i had a million stock of those all day every day since i like the original peptides so much the lip tints were a little sticky and they're not even sticky it's just i love her original formula so like the lip tints have a little stickiness to them you know what i mean let's see let's see this one oh it's a shimmer I see. Hmm. Is it shimmery? Oh, it looks good on the lips. It is the same type of consistency as the other lip tints. It might be a little less sticky. This one. It feels nice on the lips, honestly. It's not. I feel like it's not as sticky as the other lip tints. So I don't know. It is. A, it still is like a tiny bit sticky though. But you wouldn't even notice it. It's literally because I love, love, love the formula of her of her original so bad. Like I just love the formula of that one. So, wait, does it look cute? Sorry, I have that white crust on my mouth. <laughs> I bet. We have to try this tonight. Dewy hydration layer. I've been wanting to try this glazing milk. Oh my goodness. This is Gorgina. I like that she cares about um, the ingredients that go. She's like really into skincare, I guess. So I like that she cares about the ingredients that go into like her stuff. So, okay. I'm so excited. I love this. Like I'm going to use this to travel. This is so nice. I believe these are like for brushes and stuff, but I would just like put anything in here you could really take this in your purse put tampons wow that's so cute thank you to Ro. that's so fine oh i gotta take a little photo when i take like brand photos i'm like low-key particular i know that they don't give a shit but like when i take the photo i'm like i need it to look good like i need it to like you know what i'm saying i took photography in school my teacher was so mean and like hated me so i got a d but i love photography like i genuinely take really good photos i only did bad in the class because we had to do the film like where you stick it in the the paper and stuff and i was so bad at that but actually taking the actual photos like i always had great grades because like i could take a picture like i really can take a photo so can my mom if anybody needs their instagram photos taken like i am that girl like i will take the most beautiful photos for you and i love like helping people like pose like okay do this do this do that you know what i mean like i should have really been a photographer and honestly like i mean i still could like if i wanted to you know what i mean because i love taking photos of people like genuinely like don't get me wrong i love taking photos like for my own instagram and stuff but i love taking photos of people like i find joy in like getting a good photo of somebody you know what i mean i developed the film and shit and i was like so not good at that with the chemicals and all in the dark room you know what i'm talking about if you ever taking photography hello you guys i have not talked to you in an entire day also there's something all over my shirt Did you see that what the fuck is that i literally don't know what that is like hello it looks like maybe grease stain this is why i can't have this is why i can't buy like nice clothes i haven't seen you guys in an entire day and the reason for that is because last night i got really bad pains i think in the last vlog i was telling you guys sorry this is like bothering me and needs to be a little bit more down anyways in the last vlog i was telling you guys how i've had a period for over a month now and i have pcos so like it's kind of concerning but like it's not because even though my periods are pretty regular it's like it's one of those things it's like you have pcos like it's gonna fluctuate it's gonna be irregular but every month my period is pretty much regular you know sometimes it's a little late it's a little off but this time yeah i've had a period for an entire month and i'm just like i don't know what's going on so then yesterday i was like oh it's finally going away and the whole day i'm wiping and there's sorry this is like tmi to talk about but i'm wiping nothing nada so i'm like oh my god it finally went away no i took a bath last night 
And after I got out of the bath, I'm like, ooh, I'm cramping bad, like bad. It's like shooting pain from my stomach all the way to my vagina. And I'm thinking, what the hell? Like, this is period pains, but it just went away. Like, how, the f how could I be having period cramps? I get up so much blood in the toilet like so much to the point where i need to go to the doctor i don't know if i can just classify it as pcos anymore like i think there's actually something wrong and it's actually kind of scaring me a little bit so within this month that i've had a period i've had like excruciating leg pain not every day this has only happened three times but it's shooting leg pain for like three hours i have a really high pain tolerance this is like the most unbearable leg pain. Like I am crying. It shoots up my, like think about a Charlie horse on crack in your thigh. Like it's so extra. Like it's so extra for whatever reason. I was praying to every God in the entire world last night. Like please make this shit go away. After two hours, it finally went away. I had to use my heating pad. I was rolling my back out on this thing because sometimes I know that like leg pain is associated with like back pain and that kind of helped a little bit I was giving myself like lymphatic massages had my legs up on the thing had my um what do you call compression socks on like I was doing everything literally and I think everything kind of like helped a little bit but I'm like this is like alarming so that's happened to me three times now this month once on Halloween so bad it was so bad on halloween i was giving myself like a compression massage period all over the couch on halloween then the second time it happened was last week actually when i was editing and i figured like maybe because i was sitting all day like i wasn't getting enough like stimulation what do you call it like circulation um but then it happened again last night and last night i think was the worst out of all of them so I don't know what the heck is going on with me, but it's to the point where I'm like, and I've been eating good this entire week. I've been eating good on my grind. I'm like, so I'm like, what the hell is even going on? Sorry, I'm so thirsty. Hold on, I need to switch out my SD card. I am doing okay today. When I woke up, I still had like some pressure in my leg, but yeah, definitely um, gonna need to go to the doctors or I don't know, something. I need to do something because it just keeps progressively getting worse and it's actually scaring me now like it's to the point where i'm like and i hate the doctor so you know it's serious anyways if anybody has any idea what that could be um because i am a self-diagnosing queen <laughs> i'm just kidding everything that i know that i have i've been diagnosed with like by actual doctor <laughs> but you know what happens when you go on to google and you start googling sh that's why i cannot go and google shit because Last night I was Googling shit for like two hours. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Don't do, like, it will tell you you have a week to live. <laughs> I want to show you guys this PR package that I got. When I looked at the like return address, because it says Amore Pacific. I love that brand. I haven't used that brand since 2018. So I literally shit my pants off getting so excited because they have one of my favorite all-time cleansers and then they stopped selling it at sephora if i'm correct they just still don't sell it at sephora but oh my god if you ever use an amore pacific cleanser yeah that shit is so good it smells amazing so i was like oh my god i'm so excited then when i open it lineage oh, it's like a scam but like a good scam you know what i mean because i was excited either way but yeah i was like do they own each other? I don't know. Because why? Do, I don't know. I don't care. But I literally have all these products. So this is like sending me. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like I need to actually start telling y'all to subscribe now because I really want to do a 400,000 giveaway. But we're going down in subscribers. We're not going up. <laughs> How am I supposed to do my giveaway when shit, I'm losing y'all? I need to resuscitate you. They sent me over the water bank. Love this moisturizer. A little lip sleeping mask. We all love her. I actually don't have this. The cream skin peptide. It's a toner and moisturizer. Let me see what she's giving. Oh, what? Is she a spray? Oh no. Oh, that is interesting. I don't need to use her yet, but I'm gonna put her in my closet. I'll either give her away or use her when I need her. I hate opening stuff when I already have so much stuff open. It just like screams wasteful. So I try to not do that. 
stubby bare lip balm. This is the one I have in my nightstand. Literally, I use this every night before I go to bed. Water sleeping mask. Oh, a sleeping mask? Oh, that's cool. Oh wait, I've used this. I, I tried a sample size of this from Sephora. This is really good too. All their products are so good. If you know, you know. I love Laneige, so thank you guys so much. I just thought, oh, and then they gave me a little, was that in there or was that? That was like part of this, I think. I think I dropped it. Thank you so much, Laneige. Oh, and then they, oh, and then they show you like on the little card. So they sent me all their nighttime bestsellers. That is so funny. That's funny that they sent me the gummy bear because this is the only one I have of this. And they also have it in berry, peach, and grapefruit. I love the gummy bear though. It really does taste like gummy bear. Thank you so much. That's so nice. I think that is so nice. I'm going to put all of it in my PR closet, which this is why I'm telling you guys to subscribe because it is so full. The closet is full. Like I need to clean out the closet and make space for a whole nother shelf because the PR, it's getting out of hand. Like it's getting, and I'm so, 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 so grateful, but I want to get back to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I really want to do a giveaway, but I want to do like a big giveaway or like probably like multiple big giveaways so subscribe girls we need to do some nighttime skincare that is what we need to do right now I swear to god every time my mom leaves this has happened so many times when my mom like leaves like she's not close by it's like i'll get sick like one time she left for like three months and i got food poisoning it was so bad i literally thought i was gonna die it was miserable i didn't know it was food poisoning at first i was like viciously vomiting i don't why that happens i think that's so weird i feel like that's just like a sign that like we're connected in some way because why the hell do i always get sick or like something happens when she's not around is that not weird i feel like that's so weird i'm sorry like oh i used miss <clears throat> i used miss peptide glazing fluid last night she was cute she was a moment i am getting a couple breakouts and my rosacea is kind of bad. I need to clean my sheets again. I need to make sure I'm cleaning my sheets on a weekly basis. Use this Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. What I want to get is so bad actually. I think I'm gonna order some maybe on Amazon tonight. Those towels that everybody says is like life changing. The towels that's like just a one time use for your skincare so that you're not wiping your face with like the same bacteria towel because I definitely feel like for me and my acne I feel like that it low-key is a problem I use the same towel for like two weeks yeah I feel like that would low-key be a game changer for me let me know are they worth it next I'm going in with the Paula's Choice I literally yeah honestly I think it works better than a cotton pad typology vitamin C serum looking pale I swear in person I do not look this pale or maybe I'm just delusional. Then I'm going in with my Tatcha water cream. I love this stuff. I go through moisturizers so fast in the winter months. Go in with this peptide glazing fluid from Rode. Because I want to use this every day and see like what it's giving. I guess that the glazing fluid is kind of like your last level of hydration, basically glazes your face. SkinCeuticals Age Advanced. I, every night it's different. Sometimes I just use different products depending on, but I just have to know like what works with my skin. Otherwise I will break out because I can use different products every night and not break out. It just has to, I have to make sure that the products work with my skin. Cause I know some people have sensitive skin to where they have to use the exact same product every single day. My skin isn't like that. I just have to use the products that I know work on my skin. Does that make sense? Last step for tonight is gonna be this thermal spring water. I need a lot of it. Like I can feel my skin getting so dry, like already, like genuinely. My favorite oil, clearly it's my favorite oil. This is the OC, is it OC or OC? OC, I don't know. This is so good, this algae body oil. <laughs> yeah, this is something that I will be repurchasing because it is insanity. Like, I use it every day. Can you tell? Yeah, <laughs> every day. 
it's like the most nicest lightweight oil because I low-key hate the feeling of body oils like especially when I go to sleep hate it hard to know shit bitch I hated it gotta make sure I'm nice and moist like this is the reality of what it is to be a girl like you go to bed looking crazy so that you can look flawless the next day I love y'all and this is going to end out this week's video hopefully next week we can do something <laughs> like, fuck why do i feel like we've been cooped up in the house for the last month i'm not worried about it if you guys are worried about it i do want to like go on live life though i feel like i low-key have been inside the house sometimes i'm in that era though you know what i mean like sometimes that's just what i need in my life and i feel like that's what i've been needing i've been needing a lot of like at home time so i'm not mad at it yeah but i'm mad at this this is pissing me off i love y'all and i'll see you in the next motherfucking video bye girls. love you